because this is about Galaxy S9, baby. Samsung has already achieved that futuristic design that they wanted to introduce in the first place. It's literally the best on the market as of now, so you won't see any crazy approach with the Note 8. It's 90% based on the Galaxy S8 family. The only real new additions are the dual cameras and possible stereo speakers. But Samsung has started working on the S9 long before the Note 8. I've heard in a report that they actually named this Galaxy S9 development project as Star. Star 1 for S9 and Star 2 for Galaxy S9 Plus. Star may indicate that Samsung is going for a full screen quad curve display on all sides or four sides at least to achieve maximum screen to body ratio with almost no bezels at all. I talked about it before and a lot of people were concerned about you know where the front camera and sensor will be. Just like Apple, Samsung will introduce a notch on the top. It might be even smaller than iPhone Ace notch to incorporate front camera, facial scanner and iris scanner and the rest will be just infinity display curved on the side. The side bezels are already getting removed on the Note 8 and Samsung will somehow get rid of bezels on the top and bottom so the notch will allow Samsung to go even further beyond the current infinity displays or any other upcoming displays. iPhone 8 is rumored to have the highest screen to body ratio with that notch on top but it's not curved, it's a flat screen. Same thing with the G6 and the upcoming Pixel 2. They all are flat but Samsung has the edge. Thanks to the edge display it really does make a difference and looks amazing when you hold it. Today a new report came out saying that Samsung has given orders for 5.8 inch and 6.3 inch panels for the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus so the size is going to be the same, pretty much the same as the S8 family. The report also claims that Samsung display has received some pre-specifics for a 6.32 inch Note 9 panel which means all of Samsung 2018 flagship phones, the S9 family and the Note 9 will have same display sizes as this year's flagship. The report further states that Samsung is going to give an on-screen fingerprint scanner another shot. It was heavily rumored that Galaxy S8 will have it but Samsung failed and then same thing happened with the Note 8. There were brightness issues, the same problem happened to Apple with their iPhone 8 so they decided to scrap the idea for this year's flagship phones but now now I'm almost certain that S9 will actually be the first flagship phone to have in-display fingerprint tech. Hopefully Samsung can take the advantage of the new technologies introduced by Qualcomm. We've seen this tech working on a Vivo prototype phone, uh, works with wet fingers as well, but still not truly reliable or accurate to have in a flagship phone. So it's in development. The point is they have shown us that it's absolutely possible. And it will happen on the Galaxy S9. LG G7 could also be the first phone to have this tech if they decide to release the G7 first in 2018 before S9. But we'll see about that. Along with S9, there will be a new chip based on 7 nanometer process for more power and efficiency. With Galaxy S8, Samsung is introducing dual cameras. Does that mean we'll see dual cameras on Galaxy S9 family as well? Yes but with only Galaxy S9 Plus. Next year, the display size and bigger battery won't be the only difference between the S9 and S9 Plus. The dual cameras will definitely make Galaxy S9 Plus more compelling and it will be priced higher. This strategy is similar to Apple's, but it needs to happen. Of course, we're still quite a ways out from the launch of the Galaxy S9 and we still have the launch of the Note 8 to look forward to next month. But the S9 will bring Samsung's best, best ever best to the table. Are you willing to wait for the Galaxy S9 and skip Note 8 or even the iPhone 8 of this year? Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.